Hello Sudoku friends and welcome to an expert puzzle by El Pais. Today is the 5th of January 2024. On advice from a subscriber, I will try to limit my narrative and make it less verbose. I will try to point out some patterns and some blocking when I stumble across them just once and uh, hope that everyone will be able to follow the solution as it progresses without my having to repeat everything multiple times. So let's see how this experiment goes today. It's clear that a 9 must go in this square here, right? And it's equally clear that a 9 must go here. Also, it's quite obvious that this must be a 9 and that this must be a 9. Now we just need two more 9s. This square down here has got to be a 9. And the same is true for the last 9 of this puzzle. It goes here. We can find a 1 for block 2. It has got to go here, right? We can easily find a 5 for block 4 because we have a couple of 5s blocking these two squares. So here's a 5. We can also find a 5 for block 8 quite easily because we have a couple of 5s blocking across here. So here's a 5, right? And now a 5 for column 5 must go here. We can find a 1 and an 8 for row 5. Do you see it? Let's deal with the one first. These two ones block here, 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 and here. So a one must go in one of these two squares. And an eight or column five it must go either here or here. Therefore, this can't be an eight. It's blocked by this eight. So these two squares have got to be a one and an eight. And therefore, this must be a seven. And that gives us a 7 and a 3 for the top row. Because now this is a 7 and this is a 3. And that gives us a 3 for block 5. Because the 3 blocks over here and the 3 blocks down here is a 3, right? And another 3 for block 8. And the 3 must go here. We can find a 2 and a 7 for column 6 now, because the 7 blocks here. Here's a 2, here's a 7. We can find a 6 for block 7, simply because the 6 blocks here. One of these must be a 6 blocking across. This 6 blocks down, so here's a 6. And that immediately gives us a 6 in the corner cell of the puzzle in block 1. And this is where the 6 goes. We knew that one of these must be an 8. Now we know that this is the 8 because the 3 goes here, right? And that, of course, gives us a 6 here. Now we easily see the 6 in block 6. These two 6s block across and this 6 blocks up. So here's a 6, right? And now we can find a 6 for block 3. It has got to go here. We need a 4 and a 7 for row 4. Here's a 4. 
is a 7. And here, therefore, is an 8. So how is everyone doing? Am I talking too much or too little? It's very difficult for me to strike a good balance because it is a priority for me not to waste anyone's time. Time is precious, time is of value, and I don't want to waste anyone's time more than necessary. So let's have a look at block eight. We need one more number for column four in block eight. And that's got to be a four. And that gives us a four for block seven. And the four goes here. Two and six still for block eight, the six blocks over. Here's a two and here's a six. We need a three, four, seven and a two for row seven. Got a three, four, and a seven blocking here, so this must be the two, and a three, four, seven must go in these three squares, right? And finding this two gives me a two here, and that again gives me a two for this square, and a four for this. These are still a one and an eight. Since these squares have got to be a 3, 4, and a 7, we know that these must be a 1 and an 8. And therefore, this cannot be a 1 or an 8. It must be a 7. And now we have an 8 for this square, of course. 1 and 8 here, 8 blocks down, 1 goes here and 8 here. 1 and 3 here, and here we are looking for a 2, 5, and a 7. It occurs to me that this is a 1, 3, right? Now look at this square. It cannot be a 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, so we got a remote 1, 3 pair here. And here. We also have a 1, 3 here. And to avoid a unique rectangle problem, we know that this cannot be a 1 and it cannot be a 3. Question is, what can it be then? It could be a 2, but not a 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9. So let's just enter a 2 here. And that gives us a 2 for column 2 row 1, like so. We also need a 7 and a 5 for the same column, the 5 blocks over, so here's a 7, and here's a 5. That gives us a 5 over here. So 1, 3, 1, 3, and this, of course, also must be a 1 or a 3. The 3 here blocks up, so here's a 1. Now we have a 1 here and a 3 here. And a 3 and a 7 here. 7, of course, forces the 3 to go here, the 7 here. And that gives us a 7 for box 9, like so. And a 3 and a 4 for these two squares. The 3 blocks down. Here's a 4. Here's a 3. 4 now must go here. And 8 here. And therefore here, giving me a 1 for this square. 1 for this. And an 8 for this. And that's it for an expert puzzle. Admittedly, not a very difficult expert puzzle but an expert puzzle, nevertheless, from El País. I would like uh, to see in the comments how you feel about my not speaking 
very much during a solve. Uh, I try to strike a balance, as I said before, and what I would like to do always is to provide just enough information that everyone understands why I am entering a certain digit into a certain cell. So if I achieve that, then I'm happy and I will try in future to speak less. Thank you for watching and bye for now.